You may be wondering why there is an owl sitting in the middle of the street. Believe it or not, there is a connection between the owl and this very building. In December of 1914, an owl was found dazed on a trolley rail in the middle of the street. That's right, there used to be trolleys in Mystic. They ran from 1904 to 1928 every half hour. The conductor of the trolley brought the owl to Frank Buckley. The owl spent the holidays in Buckley's Meat Market, this building, which was then called the Buckley Block. The Buckley Block is actually a single building with several storefronts which was originally built in 1878 by Samuel Buckley. In 1891, the building housed a B&S grocery store, a tailor, a butcher, and had lodging with offices on the second floor. After many years, Samuel Buckley retired in 1910. His son, Frank, inherited the family grocery business. Can you believe that steak was 18 cents per pound, a bag of flour was 79 cents, and 10 pounds of potatoes was only 17 cents? The meat market closed in 1915 because Frank had invested in the new automobile industry. He purchased a car, making the Buckleys one of the first families to have an automobile in Mystic. In 1931, the local newspaper announced the marriage of Frank Buckley and Anna Tift. Frank renamed Buckley Block as Tift Block in honor of his new wife, and shortly afterward he gave the building to Anna. The Tifts were a successful local family of merchants and mariners. Anna's oldest brother, Henry Harding, moved to Georgia to develop a lumber industry for his family's shipbuilding business. The sawmill camp grew into a community, eventually named Tifton, which Henry designed to resemble his hometown, Mystic. The Tift building hosted many different renters and businesses throughout the years. In the 30s, the Great Atlantic and Pacific Tea Company, now better known as A&P, had a storefront in the building. In the 40s, the Maxwellton Marine Paint Co., owned by Edward and his wife Lil, found a home in the Tift building. The store sold more than marine paint. It also carried house paint, hardware, art supplies, and picture frames, selling supplies to a growing artist community, including local folk artist and author Ellery Thompson. In the 1970s, Tuck Jones bought Maxwell & Company from Eddie Maxwell, and the framing service is still in operation today in a small studio behind the TIFF building. The 70s even saw a return of the meat market to the TIFF building when local grocer Kenneth Calkins opened Calkins Meat Market, the first grocery available on Main Street in nearly a decade and half a century after Frank Buckley's original market closed. The building remained in the Buckley TIFF family until 1978 when Thomas TIFF sold it to an investment company. At the time, the building began to see more tourist-oriented businesses, including a jewelers and clothing boutiques. In 1998, the building was sold for $1.1 million a record amount for a commercial building in Mystic at the time. Tourism-friendly businesses continued to expand and included a toy shop and candy store in addition to clothing stores. From meat market to jewelry store, the TIFF block has seen an evolution of businesses and faces from 1878 to today.